Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today is the last day you're going to see the bus look like that. It's not going to be yellow anymore. We're going to start painting. So this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. This is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Hey guys, so we are almost completely done. That's a very big oxymoron, but we're almost completely done with the uh, this side of the bus and the back of the bus. So, sanding, sanding, that's right. So that's what Stephanie has been working on and I've been working on this week getting it sanded down. This is what we've got, and this is what I just did. So I'm just taking it, sanding off 
this whole layer of crinkly, crackety top coat. Basically, I'm just using 180 grit. That's what Raptor Liner suggests. And just getting my sand on. As you can see, we already did the to rubberize coating that looks good, but we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. All right, you can see I've done a little bit more. I just did a little strip down the center. And you can see I'm slowly getting all that clear coat off. Alright guys, so that's the that's the back uh, pretty much taped off. Right before I get ready to paint, I'm gonna go ahead and run a uh, run a piece of plastic over our Raptor Line bumper and then on the top so it doesn't get on there. But that's pretty much ready to be painted. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so what I've got here is Raptor bed liner coating, and it is the uh, the tenable um, 711 milliliters, and I've got a single stage toner, which I had a paint shop mix up for me, and. Uh, we did this the um, Freightliner blue gray color. So this is what you see on the Mercedes Sprinter vans. Um, the kit comes with this hardener, and then of course it comes with uh, four of these containers. Now we don't know how much we're going to need yet, but I bought uh, twelve of these, so I bought three kits and. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay, so with the for the hardener, we're going to put in 250 milliliters, and I've got my little measuring cup here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually weigh this so that I get an exact measurement, so that I have a consistent color throughout my paint job, because I'm obviously not going to be able to do it all in one swoop. Uh, 
So I'm going to cut this on and then tear it out. Okay, so it's on zero. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in my color. So Raptor allows you to use up to 10% of your uh, and pigment. So I'm going to do around 70 milliliters. That'll be 10, almost 10% of that 70, 711 milliliters that we've got in this bottle. Uh, and here's the color as it looks. Right now, at least. Okay. So 70 milliliters is going to be this second line right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour as close as I can to that. We're going to call it 3.4 ounces. And that looks to be looks to be about what we're going to need there. So we put 70 basically 70 milliliters or 3.4ish ounces. And then we need 250 milliliters of the hardener, which means that we're going to need 70 plus 250 is 320. It's about 320 milliliters. And that is, well, that's just going to be a hair over that top line. So. We're going to get as close as we can to that, and then we're going to measure the total weight. We'll go a little bit over that line. So we want the total weight is going to be 11.5 11.5 ounces then I'm going to take and I'm going to stir it sure it's stirred up real good. And I'm going to, I've already shaken this Raptor liner a little bit just to kind of get it agitated so that it's all one uniform color. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pour All of this in the bottle. Till it don't.
Texas. Man, we sure do appreciate you coming along on this adventure. What a lot of hard work, but man, it's gratifying to uh, be able to uh, look at the hard work you put in and such a drastic change. We're gonna stop the video right here. So we'll hit you guys next week with the, uh, with the rest of the paint and kind of spoiled the surprise at the beginning and you guys got to see what it looks like. But next week we'll have everything complete, all the windows scraped from any overspray and all the tape off. We're gonna repaint some of the black we're gonna put all the badges on, etc., and I think we're actually gonna paint uh, part of the hood, possibly black, um, to give it so, uh, like a little bit of a design. So we'll see, and uh, we thank you guys so much for watching again, and give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe the video, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.